Hey guys, it's Paige at Cumber Books, and I'm here to film a May reading wrap up. I think I might have said in my whatever t the video that I put up before this video, I said, "Oh, don't mind me. I'm wearing the same clothes for a couple a uh, couple videos." I was gonna post the wrap up video that I had filmed in the same clothes, but then I decided it was really crappy. I looked crappy, and I was like, "Never mind. I'm just gonna refilm because I have time." So I just I just got home from work and I decided I'm going to refilm because I look much better now than I did a little bit ago or like a couple days ago. So I am going to go over the books that I finished in May. Now, I May is the first month that I've only had work. I haven't had school and work, just work um, because we got out May 1st. May 1st was the last day of school. Um, and I was able to read... One, two, well, let me just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Twelve books that I read in the month of May, which is amazing considering I've never read, first of all, I've never read that many books in a month before, ever, I don't think. And, um, I don't remember what I was going to say. I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, and because, like, the first couple months of 2015, I was in work, or I was in school and working at the same time, so I was not reading that many books. There was some months that I didn't read anything. Oh, well, I was reading, but I just didn't finish anything, um, which was crappy, but you know what happens. So anyways, let's go down the list. The first two books I'm going to show you, I don't have the first one, that's why I'm going to show you them together so you can at least get a glimpse, um, is Yolo, Juliet, and Seriously, Hamlet which they're by William Shakespeare, obviously, and but Courtney Carbone is like the maker of the these types of books. Um, it's just the retelling of like Hamlet and Romeo and Juliet, but it's in text and it uses emojis and it uses Facebook statuses and it uses notes like this and it's so cute and um, I sat down and read this one, and then you can see this one too, right here. That's Yolo Juliet. I have it, I just don't know where it is. Um, but I sat down and read this one, and the Romeo and Juliet one in one sitting. I didn't read them on the same day, but I did read them in one sitting. This one I sat while, I sat in the pool and read this one while I was on vacation, and I took like, maybe like half an hour to read it. Mama was like, wow, you're done already? I was like, mom, it's just little text messages. Like, it's not, it's not a very big book. Like, of course I'm done. So yeah, I love these. They're so cute. Random House asked me to review them, and I of course said yes, because they're the cutest things ever, and I'm glad I did. I think um, they have Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet right now, and I think they're coming out with Macbeth, too. I'm not sure, but I think I saw that. Next on my list is The Shadow Prince by Brita Spain, which I was chosen to be an ambassador for the series, so the first and second books that were out... Um, I have an arc of the second book, but it wasn't out when I got it, but it is out now. They both came out in May, I believe. But it's about a guy who comes from the underworld, and he must go into the real world and trick... Not really trick, but convince a girl that he is supposed to... Is supposed to a girl that's supposed to be like a prophet to come back to the underworld with him so that he can give her to his father. And things go wrong and people change their mind and a lot of happen lots, lots of stuff happen it's based on mythology too which i like these books because i'm not a huge mythology reader but i like to read books about mythology because it gets my knowledge out without actually like it helps me learn more about mythology without actually having to read mythology books which you know that's very stupid of me, but you know I I, I have a ta hard time understanding that kind of text, so I'm just like oh I'm just gonna read this book about mythology because it will teach me more, you know because I the the way the authors explain it they have to explain it simple enough for readers that don't know that much about mythology to understand, you know what I mean? So that this helps me understand. Um, but this was an amazing book. I think I gave it a five out of five stars. I can't remember. Um, I just loved it, and I can't wait for the third third book to come out. Yeah, third book. Might as well show you the next book now, since I was just talking about it. The second book was The Eternity Key by Brie de Spain, and I love this cover. It's so pretty. I'm not going to tell you what this is about, because it's just going to be a spoiler to book two. But as you can tell, it's a little bit shorter than book two, and I'm hoping that book three isn't shorter, because that book needs to be jam-packed with stuff, especially how this one ended. I almost fell on the floor and died when this ended, because I was like, wait a minute. Like, it ended so abruptly that I turned the page, because there's a couple, there's like, after the last page, there's a couple blank pages, and I was like, there has to be more! 
I was like so mad. I was like, come on. Oh, and don't mind my green tongue. I just had like a little green candy. That's why I have a green tongue. But I was so upset with how this ended. I just, I can, I need to have book three now so I can know what happens. I'm hoping to get an arc of it, but who knows if that will happen. Next up is Paperweight by Meg Haston. I received this in the mail from Epic Reads. Um, I was picked for the Epic Readers, Epic Reads Early Readers Group. Um, which I had never heard of before. I think I remember getting an email about it and signing up for it, and then it just, a few months later, this came in the mail, and I was like, oh, so cool. I haven't put my review up yet because Epic Reads, in this in this little flyer thing, says they'll let us know when they want our our feedback, and they haven't sent us an email yet, as far as I know. If any of, if, if, oh my god, if anybody, um, <laughs> got pick to be a part of this. Does anybody know when we're supposed to put our review up or if they had an email that I missed? Can you let me know? That'd be nice. But anyways, this is about a girl who is, um, I can't remember. I think it's, I think her actual diagnosis was bulimic, but she wanted to believe that she was anorexic because she says that bulimic is weaker than anorexia. So I'm pretty sure she's bulimic. Um, and she finally gets thrown in rehab after having a really bad bout with it. Um, she, cause like her mom left the family and then her brother died. So her dad was like, that's it. I'm sending you to rehab cause you're not doing good. So she went and we, we kind of see her dealing with missing her brother and hating her mom and like hating one of her best friends and not really hating, but like loving, it's a love slash hate relationship. It really was. And then we, we see her make, trying to make new friends. We see her helping people. It's, we see her doing a lot of things. Um, and it was a really heartfelt book and a lot of feels, a lot of feels. It was really, like, it's the first YA book that I've read that's really, like, real. It's straightforward, it's rough, it's powerful, and it's painful, but it's, like, all, it's, like, it's real, you know what I mean? Like, it's not fake, you know? I just threw my pen for no reason. So next book I've read is Bit Players, Has Been Actors, and Other Posers by S.M. Stevens. This is another review book that I read during a readathon this month. Um, I had started it, I think, in March or April, and I finished it this month, and it was good. It's just about a group of teenagers that go to high school, and they're in a play, and, like, well, they're just dedicated to the drama, um, class, and it's just about them putting on their play, it's about them putting it together, and then putting it on, and it's about friendships and relationships, and teacher relationships and teacher issues, and it's just a big bundle of high school in one book. Um, actually it's three books because there's two more books after this, which I have, I just haven't gotten to yet. Hopefully gonna get to those soon because this is really good, I enjoyed it. Next book I got was a review book, um, next, no, not got. Next book I reviewed, I finished, is The Messengers by Edward Hogan. I requested this and one other book that I haven't gotten to yet from Candlewick and I received it one day. I love how they don't send you an email back, they just send it to you in the mail so when you get it you're like, oh! I think I, I think that's the purpose. Either that or they're just really mean and they don't care. They're just like, here, whatever, have it. You know, I, I'm hoping that it, the purpose is to surprise us. But um, this is very interesting, actually. It's a really small book, but it's really good. It's about a girl who she blacks out. And when she wakes up from blacking out, she immediately has to draw. And she draws, what she draws doesn't make sense to every, anybody else, only to her and other people like her. Um, what she draws, people, other people only see shapes and weird things. But she can see a picture of somebody's death. Um, and so after she draws, she has to deliver that message to whoever's going to die or else somebody in her family will die or get sick. So, I mean, there's times when she tries to hold off giving the person the death letter, but then her cousin gets sick. And so she's like, she knows that she has to deliver these messages as soon as they come. Uh, and it's just about her dealing with her ability and meeting somebody that has that same ability. And that's how she found out she had it. And she... I was almost thinking that they were going to, like, be together, but then I realized, I think he's a little older than her, so it's a little weird. But I just, I like the relationship they had. They were good friends, and I enjoyed that. Um, next up is Something Strange and Deadly by Susan Denard. I won this a really long time ago for whatever reason, and she even signed it. It says, don't forget, always aim for the knees, which I like, Susan Denard. Um, and it's, I don't know, it... I'm gonna read the second book just because 
I don't even know if I can say that because the book, the beginning was slow. The mid towards the end sort of was good, action-packed. I like that. But the end drove me crazy. I was like, wait a minute. The people, they, I mean, they were all together through the whole book and all of a sudden they're going to leave and then the second book doesn't even have them in it at all. I mean, I can't really know for sure if the second book doesn't have them in it because I haven't read the second book, but just by reading the synopsis, it doesn't mention any of them. So I'm like, but I love them. Why are they leaving? So, I mean, this book is beautiful and I, I liked it. it. It's just, it was a little bit slow for me. I'm not that into zombies. I mean, I've, like, I've read Warm Bodies, and that was really good, and I've read, I don't even know, I don't even think I've read that many zombie books, that's my problem. Oh, and I've read, um, The Farm, which I think is about zombies, too, I think, I'm not sure. But either way, I'm not a very big zombie person, so I think that's one of the reasons why I didn't get into it that much. I totally forgot that it was about zombies. When I picked it up, I was like, I don't even know what this is about, but I'm gonna like it, because it's a pretty cover. Yeah, not so much. Um, I think I gave it a 3 out of 4 stars, or a 4, 3 out of 5, or a 4 out of 5, I can't remember. It was alright. I think I'm probably going to pick up the second book just because I want to know if the people that I want to be in it is in it, but, you know, who knows. Next book I finished was Dangerous Girls by Abigail Hass. This, I have to say, is the most amazing book I have ever read this month. Um, this has to be my favorite, because... Um, alright, so let me just tell you what it's about first. It's about a group of teenage girl, teenage girls, teenage friends who go to Aruba for a vacation, sorry. Um, and one of the friends gets murdered. So they don't know who did it. They suspect it's one of the guys that she's been hanging out with while they've been in Aruba. But the girl that gets murdered, her best friend Anna, because the girl that gets murdered, that's Elise. Her best friend Anna and Anna's boyfriend, Tate, get arrested for her mur murder, and shit goes down from there. Uh, it, the whole book goes back and forth between before the murder, after the murder, the trial, newspaper articles, sh television shows about it, the friend's point of views, I think, I'm not sure, I can't remember, if they're, but uh, it's just a, a plethora of things, and I loved it, because, like, the whole time you're reading, you're like, oh, what's gonna happen next? What am I gonna read about next? It's so cool, yeah. You're never bored, and that's what I loved. I also loved that the author had me thinking that I knew everything about this book from the start all the way through, and when I got to the last two chapters, I was like, everything I just knew went down the drain, because I did not know anything. <laughs> she made it clear that um, I had no idea what I was talking about, and the person who was guilty that I thought was innocent was really guilty. Um, I like that. I like that this author thought, made me think the whole way through that I knew what was going on, and then at the end she was like, nope, you don't know anything, bye. I like that kind of book, and it was really, really good. I definitely recommend reading this. Last but not least, because this is getting really long, I finish Becoming Jin by Lori Goldstein. This is about a girl who turns 16. Um, the main character, her name is Azara. Azara. Uh, she turns 16 and she becomes a genie. She gets her genie powers. And so this book is about her dealing with her genie powers, keeping them under wraps, dealing with her sisters, that will be explained in the book. And then she gets herself into a little bit of trouble and she needs to get herself out of that. Um, but other than that, it was really good. I loved it. I was a little skeptical because I hadn't read a book about genies before that I wasn't going to like it. But when I started reading it, I could not stop. And I'm glad because it was a good book. I also, I met her. I went to, she came to my work and signed it. Um, while I was there, I didn't, uh, you guys know this. She came to my work and signed it while I was there and I missed her. So then she informed me that she was having a signing in Concord. And I was like, definitely I'm going to go. I'm going to be there. So I brought the book that she'd already signed, and I said, you already signed this, but can you personalize it? And she was like, no problem. So she wrote, Paige, thank you for your support, and keep writing. Up here, that's what she did at the signing. And then this, down here, that's what she did at my work when I was there, but not paying attention. But anyways, I love this book. It's so purple and nice, and I love it. So yeah, that, oh, actually, that's such a lie, because I read two more books. I read I Was Here by Gail Foreman, which... I can't show you because I, I borrowed it from work, so I don't have it here, but it was really good. Um, it was about a girl who her best friend killed herself, and so she's tasked with going to her best friend's apartment at school and cleaning out her room and meeting her friends and meeting a boy and whatnot, and it was really good. 
And last but not least is Flukes by Nicole Chase. It's about a mermaid. She was rescued from her, she, her mom. Her mermaid mom died. And her parents, her now parents, found her in the ocean with two dolphins. And they took her in. And they raised her. And it was a really good story. Uh, she, I can't really explain it because it doesn't, it sounds really boring the way I'm going to explain it. So I'm not going to explain it. I'm just going to say go read it because it was really, really good. I actually just posted a quote on Twitter with my review underneath it. So go onto Twitter. Go follow me on Twitter at Reads for Comfort. Look at my second to last tweet, I think, and click on that link. It was really good. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.